you guys made a decision on whether uh, Lonzo's going to go on Wednesday night? No, but he looked great in practice today. So that's kind of the plan. We'll, you know, he, he did the whole thing. Uh, we did a lot of up and down competitive drills today, and he looked great. So we'll see how he feels tomorrow. Do you so get excited? Feels, oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. If he feels good again yeah. tomorrow, then we'll practice again tomorrow. It's that type of thing. We're not going to rule him in until we actually get to Wednesday and he's still feeling good. Uh, I was going to ask you, just as a head coach, you know, for all of us, everyone's kind of excited to see what it looks like when everyone's uh, together. Do you get those anxious kind of, uh, let's get everyone out there and see what it looks like? Yeah, probably for different reasons. I'm excited because I know we need the, the practice at it. Uh, as, as great as it will be to be, you know, healthy and have guys uh, the full strength, for me, it's more important for them to start getting reps together. And, and, you know, everyone else in camp has had that opportunity for two weeks now. Alonzo hasn't uh, for the most, you know, with, with the amount of reps and all the full court contact stuff. So I'm more excited about uh, about practice time uh, for them. Biggest challenges defensively because we've seen it in spurts. We've seen it work. We've mm -hmm. seen you guys get out and run. We've seen you get stops. After four games, watching all the tapes, some of the challenges that, that, that you think you guys are facing. Well, it's new coverages. It's new uh, knowing knowing you're getting to know your teammates, uh, the way we like to do things, uh, communicating. Um, so it's there's a little bit from everywhere, but the effort has been there, and that's that's the most important thing. As long as we're getting the effort, then we know it's going to work. Uh, how long it takes, no way of knowing that, but we know that it'll work as long as we continue to get the effort from the guys, and they've been great so far. Do you plan on it being the same? Uh, kind of rotation for LeBron about that 15, 16 minutes. Um, we might play him a little more, um, but we'll see. That's you know we're not we're not there yet. We still got practice tomorrow to figure out. Uh, so uh, we got Josh Hart tweaked his hamstring a little bit today, so we pulled him out to be safe. So there's there's more pressing matters uh, than the, the amount of minutes he'll play Wednesday right now, but uh, we, we'll probably push it up a little bit. With the last game, well, I'm sorry, with the first game 10 days away, how much do you need to put in before then? In terms of how much offense, do we need? Yeah. I mean, the need is in, I mean, we, we want to put in a lot more, but we're going to continue to take it slow. So it's, you know, as we start doing things to a certain level uh, that then we'll expand, and there's just there's no way to put a timetable on that because every team is different. And uh, I can tell you, with the way that our guys have been practicing and, and the way that they're getting after it, it's going to continue uh, to speed up the process of what we need to do. Um, but there's a lot of work we still we still have to get done. Hey Luke, you're talking about um, feel like maybe you're being covering parents for Lonzo a little bit. Do you feel like you're able to eliminate some of the the conditioning and, and timing issues that a player who's coming off five months off would generally encounter? You expect him to come back at a higher level With, because of the time you... Yeah, absolutely. Okay. That was part of the reason we want to do it is uh, when you haven't played in that long, you, you, you tend to get fatigued quicker. And when you get fatigued, that's when you hurt something else. So uh, part of us taking our time with it was to make sure that we start to get his legs back to where they need to be. And he, he's there. We think yes. We think he right. If he stays on the path he's on right now, we we feel confident that he'll he's he's there enough that we're, we're uh, you know that we're confident in letting him play. Is Wednesday sort of an opportunity? And we know you've been experimenting with some of the different lineups, the all guard lineup last time. Is, is this Wednesday sort of when maybe some of that pulls back a little bit and then you do more of like what you, your conventional rotations might be? Maybe. <laughs> Wednesday is definitely maybe something like that could happen. I, I mean, it's – we don't – Josh Hart, we pulled him out of practice today. If he doesn't play, then some other things are going to have to, you know, the ripple effect starts to go into play. So we're going to continue to look continue to look at different groups. Um, but we also know that the season is starting pretty darn soon now. So Wednesday would be a good opportunity for us to give more time to, uh, you know, to what we like so far. Look at Lonzo. No, it's a possibility he will still play again Friday. That will totally be up to his response, how he feels, uh, and then what the you know what the trainers and doctors say. Um, so that, that we just won't know that till Thursday. But there, yeah, I mean it would be good to get him out there as much as possible once he once we get once he's cleared. I know you've talked about maximizing guys and you know, 
find, make, making the most out of the skills and all that kind of stuff. How do you handle when you have to ask guys to do things that they're, they're maybe not as well suited to do? You know, guys learning to play yeah. small ball five and, and things like that. How do, what's the original? How, how, do do I, you, how do you handle How do I handle it? How do you it? handle asking guys to do things that they're not as good at? How do you protect them when they're doing it? That kind of stuff? Um, it's part of... To me, again, it goes back to building a, a, a strong culture, um, knowing that we got, we have their backs no matter what, and we know that if they're out there trying, that that's all we, that's all we're gonna ask. And um, you know, we, I have no problem asking guys to, to play that way because it's one of our themes this year is sacrifice. Sacrifice what you're used to for what we feel is best for our team. And when guys do it, it's powerful, and it makes the team stronger and better. So. Uh, I, I, I enjoy I enjoy those moments. Is, is there something you have to do to kind of protect against the external stuff? You know, people, you know, look, he made the mistake that led to the baskets on TV or, you know, breaking it down. Yeah, I mean, I'll take those. That's on, I mean, that is on me. If he makes a mistake at the four and he's not used to playing the four, that's the coach's fault. But, so, uh, but we, we also talk about not listening to the external stuff. Uh, there's going to be more noise than any one of us has ever been through before. Uh, this season, and part of what our mission is is to not let that noise affect us. To come in and work on what we feel we need to get done, and in our group, uh, you know, we we worry about ourselves, and, and that's it. Do you think guys are more motivated by what kind of accentuating what they do well, or being worried about being embarrassed? Do I think guys are more motivated by? Yeah, are they? Yeah, I do. I think I think at this level, you're you're motivated by. You're internally motivated more. I think to make it this far uh, and to put in the hours, there's got to be an internal drive that really pushes you. Uh, you know, the, the concern of others is obviously a definitely a real thing. But I, I think when you get to this level, I, if you're asking what's more, I think the internal drive for these players is more. Do you, do you think that? Oh, sorry. It's. Um, I just, I just thought it was interesting. You, you played on some teams that got a lot of attention. Yeah that had some drama, you think this is going to be more... I, th I think this is going to be more only because of the world we live in okay. now. I think the social media and, uh, and whatever, I, whatever you call all that is, is way bigger than when I played. Um, so I think the general team will be very similar to the teams I played on here, uh, where you go on the road, there's hundreds of people outside the hotel room and visiting the arenas are sold out all that will be the same but because of the world we live in now and the media attention that is uh is out there uh, that it'll be more of that external news the team made some moves today and jonathan williams is still here what has he done to kind of justify staying on and, and he, his the his work ethic the way he competes um, his, his defensive communication uh, has been my favorite part for a rookie to be able to call out coverages and, and do multiple things uh, from a big big man's position is is very impressive. Uh, so that's that's probably what I'm most impressed with him about. Luke, what Luke, specific, Luke, how specifically did playing to Bill Jackson help you learn how to turn out the noise and then all of that around you? Because that was such a big part of how Phil coached. Yeah, well, I mean, that's part of who you know who he was was uh you know teaching us about life and, and being able to to focus on what's important and stay in the moment so f from meditations to challenging us in practice it was just part of our daily routine um so i think that it stuck with me and it's part of what i believe in now um but it wasn't just you know one thing it's playing for someone like that for eight years over time it starts to to you know, wear off on you a little bit. Well, you have the guys to meditate, you guys. What, what aspect specifically do you use that you want to do? Well, we, we, we have had a meditation session already. We brought in uh, Headspace earlier in training camp. Um, you know, for me, we I, I'm huge on communication and putting things out there and, and, and getting the players' opinions on things. Um, we do what, what we call uh, active learning as far as let the players Walk, teach out on the court, let them teach in the film room as a way to get them more involved in what is the, you know, what, what's important to our group. So little things like that we're constantly trying to do for our guys.